hello guys welcome back to another video from timmy the creator and if you are watching this video but you've not purchased this um particular mockup file just go to the description box to purchase this particular um, mockup file so this particular um tutorial video is to explain how to use this mockup file that you have purchased or you are about to purchase so um before we continue don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more videos from timmy the creator so while you purchase this file this is what you are going to see in your um scene you get the studio setup the 360 animation mockup and the uh, animated and with the hanger holding the um jersey design depending on the design you purchase from the link in the description box so and this is the um collections this is collections for the studio so you can always when you select this you can always hide the whole background can you see so i can give it like a 360 you can see the back can you see this can you see this so that's just it so let's move straight to how you can edit this mockup file so as you can see there's nothing at the back so let me open when you go to the folder of this mockup file you see a psd file open it on photoshop and this is the psd file for the mockup you get so you can make your editing you can just delete the one this um texture or this um, graphics app either you can just select it and just delete it press delete on your keyboard and you just delete and do whatever you want you get what i'm trying to say but let me press ctrl z you get so let me add a figure here so let me select the text yes and place it at the back of the jersey and just write number um 10 let's see number 10 let's see that's the name of the jersey it doesn't really have to be a sports jersey it can be those um fashion um jersey like i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say so those fashion jersey so it doesn't have to be a um, sports jersey so depending on what you want so this is <coughs> then then what you do next is anytime you make any changes on the psd file just make sure you save it Control s and save the file so go back to your blender <coughs> let me rotate this you can see that there's nothing at the back so what i'll do next is just to select this i'm going to first select this and then i'm going to go back to um cycles engine so let me go back to cycles engine so let me wait for it to load then you see the number 10 at the back of the um jersey can you see this is number 10 can you see this so that's just how you can edit your mock-up so any changes you make on your um photoshop file you can you will see the changes on your blender file as long as you go back and reload your cycles um and it doesn't matter this one doesn't matter this is what matters this is what matters what you see on your cycles you get so so that's just it so that's the first part of the um tutorial so let's move to the second part so let me add the background um setup back so let me just move to the back i'm sorry move to the back and uh, let me just turn on the background can you see so i'm going to turn this background on so we have the light here so this is the light here when i turn it off and you turn it on you get so you can just select the drop down select the first drop down there are two area light there select the area there's one at the top and there's one in front so when you select this you can play with the power of the area light you can increase it to be very very bright and you can, can you see very bright and you can also change the color too can you see you can change the color to any color you want red is bad you can just make it blue any color you want you can just change the color of the area like this is just the area light you get so that is just another thing you can do on this um, mock-up file so let's move to another Thing again you can do on this mockup file also you can adjust your camera so there's the camera here which is um in the collection here if you don't see it in the collection it might be in the background so but it's in the collection you can always move it so if you want to arrange something when you just select the camera just press m so when you press m you can change the location of the collection you want that particular um features to be so this is the camera you can always select this you get so um in a situation whereby you just want to take um animation of this um jersey you get the animation of this jersey or you just want to take a picture of this jersey you can always um turn this off so we all we need to do is to scroll down i think um clothes parents oh one yes and we'll turn off the camera too so that it will show when we are rendering it also you can also you, do, you might not necessarily need to take um animation um this thing animation the uh you might not necessarily render the animation you get you might not necessarily render the animation i just want to render the front and back of the jersey you are trying to like sell out to your audience so um what you can do you can just hide the uh let's hide the background 
so when we hide the background no background so you can take this on a transparent background whereby you go back to go to your render so when you go to your render you scroll down look for um i think film yes film and you turn on transparency and something will see this so this transparency and make sure you are rendering in png so you can go to this and uh, it's in png so very important so when you do this then uh, my camera my camera is checked to camera to view so this is what you see camera to view so you can always move it with this so all you just need to do is to just rotate your camera so you take your camera and take capture it at the back or capture it from the back sorry anyone so and that's just it so let me just focus on it so you can see and that is just it so that's what you can do with the camera so this is just without animation so that means you are just uh rendering frame one so uh what else can you do on the mock-up too you can the same thing you are doing here you can also do it for the um the other one which is the let me see genesis turn it off turn the hand off and turn the anger off turn the camera off then uh okay turn this off turn this off then we just need to leave this thing. so you can also do the same thing just move your camera and I just see to the position of this guy here. So let me see this. Um, like that. So that's if you want to render it without the um, studio background. Do you, you get? So uh, that is what you can do. And let's move to another aspect again. Okay. So another thing you can do again is changing the um, background of the backdrop. Should I call it backdrop? I don't know. So let me turn on the studio. So this is MB. So yeah, the studio background. So when you turn on, so just select this your mouse use it to select this back yes then go to the material and just select this and you can make it white you can also change it to this is it pink or purple i don't know yeah or red or yes yeah. so you can also change the color of the backdrop too. so there are a lot of things you can do around this and this um backdrop I mean, this background can also be used in a new project you can create a new project and use this back um, back um, this studio setup in that new project by just appending it i don't know if you know if you are new to blender you might not know what is happening but let me explain what is happening so let me open a new project for you Control n general um don't save actually i'm saving this so so this is a new project so what you do is to go to file go to um append is here yes so i need to go and look for the name of that blender project so i'm going to go to my um I drive sorry not here i'm going to go to my private design i'm going to go to the jesse this is the jesse here select it i'm going to go to collection and i'm going to select background this is background and then you can append it into your a new project or can you see and this is the background let me scroll can you see so this is the back or this is the setup without it, the jesse in it so you can always use this um studio setup for your renders depending on what you want to render in this um, backdrop. So that is another beautiful thing about this um, mock-up you are going to um, purchase. Also, you can adjust the um, texture, the visibility of the texture you get. I don't know how to explain it, but you can do that by adjusting the strength of the um, bump node. So um, let me show you that. So I need to go to my shading. Let me go to shading. Yeah, so this is shading. I don't know. I need to zoom closer. I need to add a lot of things so that I can avoid lagging so that we can focus on what I want to talk about in this particular um, this is, so let me hide all the studio and let me just hide uh, one of the okay yeah so let me just focus on this here and uh, there's a bump node here you get this is the bump sorry this is the bump so um let me move this to um, cycles So can you see every details on the text? So can you see the uh, visibility of the um, texture here? Can you see everything? To adjust the um, bump node, can you see? This is 3.25. So let's assume I put this in on one. It might not look too nice. Can you see it's too dark? And can you see the way it's even affecting the actual color of the texture or the graphic we use on um, um, Photoshop here? Yeah? On Photoshop, can you see? So. You need to play around with this you might not be satisfied with the value that i place inside the project file so you can play around with it but me i'm okay with like 0 
0.3 or I think 0.325 was what I used. Yes, 0 0.325. 0 0.325 is what I use. So, so this is just it. And that special thing about this uh, mock-up project is the um is the hand animation. So this particular hand animation, um, I converted it to an alembic file, which is ABC, whereby you can always if you are a 3D designer, you can always use your, you can always place your clothes on the hanger and use the same animation that I use for this jersey on those particular clothes design. Maybe your t-shirt, um, shorts or polo shirt, you get those kind of um, streetwear design or basic designs. So um, let me give you um, a sample of what I am saying. So this is Marvelous Designer. It doesn't matter, Marvelous Designer or Clothes 3D, anyone is fine. So the first thing I'll do is to go to file, I'm going to go to um, import. I'm going to go to um, Alembic, sorry. So uh, import, yes, Alembic. So this is the Jesse Knight Alembic. So um, this is the AND ABC. The AND ABC is the AND animation file. So, and I'm going to select open. And let's wait for it to load. Open it, yes. I see. So this is the AND animation file. It is actually animated like this to get. So um so let me look for something like a t-shirt. So I'm going to press Ctrl O and I'm going to look for some of I won't use all these are the Jesse Moko files. So I won't use this. I want to use something different. So let me go to my assets. Asset. I think I should get some design here. So I can use any of this design on the Jesse or if I go to let me see project, yes. It doesn't matter. Let me add this sweatshirt. So I'm going to import it. I'm going to add it and make sure that I'm not selecting avatar. You can make sure you're not selecting avatar and select add. So Ctrl A to select. I'm coming. Ctrl A. Yeah. I think it's still loading. Yes, Ctrl A to select and just adjust it. Um, okay. Let's make sure it's placed on the anger properly. Yeah. So. I don't know. Just make sure none of the anger is showing outside. So I need to make sure this um, particle distance. So I need to change it to like seven because that's the only way to avoid um, the um, anger sticking outside the clothes. Okay. So, so you just have to simulate it to relax on the anger. Coming back home. Yeah, can you see? So when I stop the simulation, if you are using Marvelous Designer, all you need to do is to change it to Accurate Fabric. Accurate Fabric on Clue 3D is also known as like Animation Stable because that's like five steps and it gives better um, simulation you get. So when I select this, it's going to change to this. But then the next thing I'm going to do is to select Animation. On Marvelous Designer, just select animation and you select record. You get what I'm trying to say. Select record and you start moving the um, clothes design. You get this and we start moving. But um, can you see it's already moving? So, but for clothes 3D, there is this um circular um with a red dot, you get a red circle. When you click on that, it's also like record the animation. So all you just need to do is for you to um record this animation of this um sweatshirt movement, and when you are done, you can always export the shirt file as alembic file export it as alembic file and bring it into blender and you can put it on the same um and we have here on um, this to perfectly um stay on that position you get as long as you don't move this um and you get you don't change the position of the hand so it's going to perfectly balance on that so this is just how you can use the um mock-up file or this is the benefit of purchasing this particular um jesse mock-up file so thank you for purchasing this um jesse mock-up file and don't forget to click on the subscribe button to also get more tutorials on blender to clo 3d animation thank you very much